influential black Republicans, many black Americans do not identify with the Republican Party. I was able to sit down with two people who explained to me what it really means to be a black Republican. Paul Barry III is a Republican candidate running for Congress. Barry says he is outspoken when there are issues he does not like. However, he is not always heard. You're never going to agree with somebody 100%. The way to deal with it as a black man is when I hear things that I like, I support it. When I hear things I don't like, I talk about it. And sometimes my voices are heard. At the more on the local level and state level, I've had more success there. But as I become a national entity and I have a bigger voice, when I hear things I don't like, I say I don't like. When I hear things I support, I say that I support. And I also do the same thing when I was a Democrat a few years ago. It's not really any difference. Uh, it's for, as for president, it's a scale for me. And the, pro the things that I believe in versus the rhetoric that I hear. Lori Bartley is also a Republican candidate running for Congress. Bartley feels that each individual of the Republican Party has their own individual interest in mind. Or any ethnic group's interest besides their own, um, truly at heart. Now, that's individually based because when you slap Republican on it, it's like saying every black person is a thug, and they're not. Every Republican is not non-inclusive. There are several Republicans who are inclusive. Both Lori and Paul are optimistic about the outcome on Election Day. For Howard University News Service, I'm Mackenzie Marshall.